Scottish fishermen have attacked the EU after European fleets have violated conservation rules in UK waters. A row has broken out between the UK and EU after Danish boats have been accused of ignoring environmental rules to plunder waters. According to Scottish fishers in the flattened prawn grounds around the Shetland Islands, Danish trawlers have been found to be plundering the waters despite being banned since 2007. Local fishermen have said the EU fleets have used multi-rigged trawlers. Guernsey has allowed French boats to plunder waters around the coast of the British Crown Dependency while they hold crunch talks with the EU and France over fishing rights. Island officials have agreed to allow French vessels access to the Isles Channel waters until 30 June. By this time, officials are hoping to put a new licensing system in place based on the UK's trade and cooperation agreement with Brussels requiring French vessels to apply to fish in Channel Island waters. Guernsey was hoping to have the system in place by the 1st of April but it is understood talks with the EU and France have been difficult and complex due to policy issues. The interim arrangement will continue on the basis it can be extended month by month up to a maximum period of three months if needed. The Crown Dependency is not part of the UK but often aligns policies and agreements with Westminster. However, it is responsible for its own fishing regulations and licensing. Deputy Jonathan Latoc, Guernsey's external relations minister, said, the extension recognizes the interests of the domestic fleet by retaining the ability to move to the full TCA licensing regime sooner, if this is possible. Discussions are ongoing between the bailiwick, UK and EU to ensure that this work can be concluded as soon as possible. Deputy Neil Inder, president of Guernsey's Committee for Economic Development, added, it is important that we maintain a stable economic relationship for the fishing industry in and around the bailiwick. We are dependent on trade both in terms of access to waters and in terms of access to ports and EU markets. The TCA seeks to balance these interests and interrelationships.